again, to stand up for the rights of all Washingtonians. So that's a contrast that will be in 20 years. That, that's not the easy way in to run as a no, nobody Democrat against an incumbent. You mentioned abortion. I'm sure that'll be part of your next answer. But what do you find the biggest issues are facing Washington state? And what would your main priorities be as governor? Um, and related to that, you know, you're not you're willing to push back against your own party. Do you find that any of your viewpoints differ at all from the mainstream Democratic Party? Well, I guess what I would say is, you know, I think that actions sort of speak louder than words. You know, when I first ran for office, Kat, you know, about 20 years ago, I ran against an incumbent Democrat for local county office. Yeah, I'm in Seattle right now. And so in King County, I ran against an incumbent Democrat who was chair of the county council who'd been there for 20 years. That, that's not the easy way in to run as a no, nobody Democrat against an incumbent popular Democrat. I took that incumbent Democrat on and, and won. Um, and so, you know, I've been willing to go against my party where I think it's the right thing, either politically or filing lawsuits or, or whatever I, I think is where my principles lead me. And so I think that's important for voters to know. In terms of the race, you know, the good news in this race is there will be a clear contrast between me and Dave Reichert. Dave Reichert's a former congressman, a Republican who will almost assuredly be the Republican nominee. And you mentioned choice. You know, he is anti-choice. Our Seattle Times newspaper here refers to him as an anti-choice stalwart. I mean, he's just, that's just where he is. And that is not where the overwhelming majority of Washingtonians are. And again, in a post Dobbs world where reproductive freedom is being taken away state by state by state, the last thing we need in Washington state is to elect a governor who is anti-choice, wants to take away your freedoms. Number two, to mention Donald Trump again, you know, Dave Reichert's last two years in Congress happened to be Donald Trump's first two years as president. Um, the good news is there are independent groups that evaluate your re voting record when you're in Congress. And more than one of those groups has pointed out that Dave Reichert voted with Donald Trump more than 92% of the time. Just put that in some perspective, that's voting with Donald Trump more often than Mitch McConnell, more often than Ted Cruz, more often than Matthew Gates. And so that's a level of extremism that I, I just, you know, it's going to be my job to make sure that Washingtonians understand that when Donald Trump was president, Dave Reichert lacked the political courage to stand up to him, and in fact, voted with him time after time after time. In contrast, I was the first attorney general to take on Donald Trump and beat him and beat him in court many, many times, again, to stand up for the rights of all Washingtonians. So that's a contrast that we'll be emphasizing to the voters as well. The good news is there are independent groups that evaluate your re voting record when you're in Congress and lawsuits or, or whatever I, I think is where my principles lead me. And so I think that's important for voters. Dickert's last two years in Congress happened to be Donald Trump's first two years as president. Um, are facing Washington state. And what would your main priorities be as governor? Um, and you know, I think that actions sort of speak louder than words. You know, when I first ran for office, Kat, 